Hey guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you my solution how to import pictures into Inventor and work with them in Inventor. First of all, you need to convert this picture into an SVG. Drag in my picture and hit convert. So now I got the picture as an SVG on my desktop as well and I open up Fusion 360. In Fusion 360 I search for this little picture icon, hit the little arrow down and say SVG file. Then I say pick the file from my computer. Now the SVG is ready to be imported but I have to choose a plane and I choose the XY plane here. And now when we zoom out a bit, we see here we got the SVG. I can now drag it around um, where I want. I say I want to write here. So now I hit finish sketch. So now you can see that the picture already turned green. And when I hover over it, uh, Fusion 360 says that it is a Fusion 360 object that I just have to extrude. So I go over here to extrusion and hit everything I want to extrude. So I, here I just want to extrude the body. But if I would um, want to extrude the eyes, I would hit the eyes and um, or the other eyes. And you see everything that would be extruded is outlined black. But I want the body, so I hit this. And now I can um, drag with this little arrow how high I want to extrude or I type it in right here. Let's say that I want it five millimeters and um, there we have it. Now we need it as an IPT file so that we can work with it in Inventor. But for this we first have to save it. I call it test one, save it in cloud. And then I can go to this little file icon and say export. And I want to export it on my desktop. And here we choose the .ipt and hit export. This now take a while here on this little bar you can see the progress and you just have to wait. So now you can hit close and when we have a look at our desktop right here we got the test 1v1. Now I open up Inventor and in here I say file open and I open the file from my desktop and as you can see here now it's a normal Inventor object we can for example place a sketch on it, uh, create a new sketch on it. Um, I create a circle and say yes and yes and then I say extrude and extrude this circle and I can unextrude it and make another hole into the model and it's just like you would have uh, made it in Inventor directly but really really fast. I hope I could help you a little bit. Feel free to like, share and subscribe. Here are more videos, here you can visit my channel. Have a nice day and goodbye.